Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne Fachada. I'm a PhD student in the University of Salamanca of Knowledge Society, that's the name of the program, and I'm here to present Assessing Formal Learning Through Technology in Science Centers and Science Museums. These are my supervisors and also co-authors of this paper, Francisco José García Peñalvo and also Ana Isabel Pereira. So we know that science exhibitions are an effective tool for tech research and education, both in the production and design phase, as well as in informal settings, such as science centers and museums, since we promote informal learning in visitors. Also, educational virtual environments are correlated with higher levels of cognitive performance and emotional development factors that contribute to knowledge constructions. This way, technology serves as a medium for visitors to feel more connected through their museum experience. So this is our object of study, Bragança Ciência Viva Science Center in the northeast of Portugal. It's a science center with 15 years of existence. We can see we have these two buildings. And this is the natural, uh, the national, actually, the national network of science centers, Ciencia Viva schools, and also Ciencia Viva clubs. But we are focusing on Ciencia Viva Bragança in the northeast of Portugal. So this ongoing research is based on the analysis of exhibits innovation that will contribute to the development of attractiveness, improvement of the science center through offering purposeful exhibitions and activities focused on young and adult education based on consolidated projects aiming a more effective learning. So this is how an, a visitor experiences anything that we have in the Science Center, either its activities or exhibitions through a personal level uh, these are the five building blocks, social, relational, physical, institutional. So our hypothesis will be which exhibits and events are more effective in an informal learning experience. The main objective of the study is to contribute to the field of science communication, as it can provide recommendations to the setting up of new exhibitions and science activities having in the center of the research how visitors themselves valorize the educational sets that we have so if they valorize more digital more analogical so we will study this based on their own answers the methodology will be a quantitative and qualitative approach with questionnaires to the public uh, so the annual visitors are 10,000 people. Um, we will try to uh, have several moments for uh, collecting data to obtain results with 95% of an interval of confidence within a, an error of 2%. The target group will be all learners visitors that visit and have access to the scientific and educational interactive learning environments and that uh, will be analyzed both as a whole and also separately comparing different ages, gender, socioeconomical situation, etc. So we already did an exploratory survey that uh, was the base for this um, uh, hypothesis that we'll study in the future. We have 154 answers. These are the results. I'm not going to go through them because we have a little time. So basically, uh, when they are using virtual reality, for example, 92% feel safe and comfortable and 99% would have interest in learning through virtual reality. So 93% also said they learn the science topics that were uh, exposed in the virtual reality movie and 76% had interest in visiting the environment they saw in the virtual uh, reality environment. So they want to see the real place. So the conclusions is that this thesis project is based in attaining data collected from diverse range of visitors to assess informal learning through technology and science events in different target audiences with different expectations and also needs. 
involving them by considering their contributions in the process of developing a new science communication approach. So thank you, these are my contacts, and I would like to acknowledge the PhD program in Education in the Knowledge Society of the University of Salamanca and the two research groups, Grial and Cedri. Thank you very much.